Hi, my name is Mark Malden. I'm a county agent with the University of Florida in Washington County. Let's talk about utilizing EPDs when selecting and purchasing bulls for use on your operation. EPDs, or expected progeny differences, are numeric values used to indicate the expected variation in the performance of calves sired by different bulls of the same breed when those bulls are mated to cows of similar genetic potential. So why bother with EPDs when, when selecting a bull for your operation? EPDs are a very powerful selection tool. They provide, a, provide much more complete information than looking at the bull's phenotype alone. The bull's phenotype is, are the tangible characteristics, how the bull looks, how much he weighs, things of that nature. EPDs look at the genetic potential of that bull's calves. Phenotype will change with the environment. Factors can affect phenotype. Genetic potential is constant. Bulls pass on genes, not looks. When using EPDs to select a bull for your operation, you're going to encounter a lot of numbers. There's, there's some basic principles you need to keep in mind when, when you're looking at all these different numbers. The numbers are for comparison's sake, not measurement. The numbers are there to show the variation in genetic potential of the different bulls you're considering. It's the difference in between the numbers, or the spread between them, that's truly important, not necessarily the numeric value. A, a good place to see why the numbers are for comparison's sake and not measurement, it ties back to the fact that the bull only is responsible for half of the genes that get passed on to the calf. So just because when you compare two bulls, you see a, a 10 pound difference in weaning weight EPD, doesn't mean that we can realistically expect to see a 10 pound difference in all of the calves sired by the two bulls at weaning. Another thing to keep in mind when using EPDs is they're only useful within a single breed. You don't want to compare EPDs across breeds. There are some core EPDs that you'll encounter regardless of what breed of bull you're, you're considering for your operation. Calving Ease Direct, abbreviated CED, is expressed as a percentage of unassisted births from, by first calf heifers bred to the bull you're considering. Birth weight, abbreviated BW, is pounds of calf at birth. This is one example of an EPD where a lower number is generally desirable. Weaning weight, abbreviated WW, is pounds of calf at 205 days, or weaning age. Yearling weight, YW, is pounds of calf at one year old. Both weaning weight and yearling weight are excellent indicators of a calf's growth potential. The milk EPD is not pounds of milk. That's a, that's a fairly common misconception. But instead, it is, it is expressed as pounds of calf weaned based on milk production. Let's apply some of the principles we've been discussing. When you look at the table, you can see um, the five core EPDs for two fictitious bulls, Bull Gator and Big Lizard. When we look at the calving ease direct EPD, we would expect that heifers bred to bull gator would have more unassisted births than those bred to big lizard. Conversely, we would expect um, big lizard's calves to be heavier at birth, weaning, and yearling. When we get to the milk EPD, we'll see that big lizard's daughters are, would be expected to wean heavier calves than bull gators based on the daughter's milk production. Using these EPDs has shown us some clear differences in these bulls, and those differences kind of indicate how we would use those bulls on our operation. We have one bull that's superior for calving ease, and one bull that's superior for growth. They would, they'd fill very different roles on an operation. Being able to see that difference, is that's the power of EPDs. This information would, have not, would not have been available to us if we had just looked at the bulls in the pen. Remember, bulls pass on genes, not looks.